are in the process of um, introducing firstly to cabinet and then by way of legislation an entire gun reform uh, system and so um, that is forthcoming and included in that has to be an audit um, in terms of who will do that audit at this point we don't know yet but i agree with you that that is something that should be done independent outside of the police department though. in terms of keep, keeping it classified though because that is very personal information i have no problem with an outsider uh, from civil society looking at it but there has to be a level of confidentiality because it's uh, individuals private uh, personal business but what i agree with you having an independent person look at it would be good did the commissioner act wrongly when he encountered a fraudulent betting of Mira Betweed, yet looked wrong and said, you do it, because he has your name, and the guy said, don't me, boss. All right, the band plays on. Let's continue. Nothing to find here. Let's go on. Was that no, wrong? No. Had the commissioner, upon learning that the vetting was fraudulent, allowed uh, the individual to keep her license, then I would say that that is fraudulent. But the commissioner revoked it upon learning that. I believe one month after, something like that, right. one month after learning that the, the vetting was fraudulent, uh, that particular license was cancelled. And so I don't see any fraud being committed there. It, it is a matter of what the commissioner knew at the time of being presented with that uh, vetting, which we now know to be fraud, fraudulent. But as I understand it, uh, the commissioner has already initiated an investigation into that particular file and others because I understand the individual claims that there may be five others. So if we can uh, certainly look over those five to see if a similar type fraudulent betting was done, um, then the chips have to fall where they may in terms of whichever officer it was that actually produced that fraudulent betting.